Welcome to the demonstration with Big Data Transformations. In this demonstration, we are performing a left outer join, which also removes matched records. This demo will show how to create a left outer join job in CoSort using the IRI workbench. The join is accomplished using the SortCL tool in CoSort. Workbench is used to create the job script using the SortCL language. Then Workbench can run the job script. Joins are used to match fields from multiple input sources so that a single output record may be created based on these matches. When the inputs are being defined, they are defined in pairs, where the first input is known as the left input source and the second input is known as the right input source. There are multiple types of joins available with CoSort. They are inner, creates records only when there are matches, left outer, creates records when there are matches and with all non-matches from the left input, right outer, creates records when there are matches and with all non-matches from the right input, full outer, creates records when there are matches and with all non-matches from the right and left inputs. This demo will show how to do a left outer join where the match is based on one field. In addition, we will apply the only parameter. When using the only parameter, the records with matches are discarded and only the records without matches are kept. So, with left outer only, we keep only the unmatched records from the left. The left input is the file transactions.csv and the right input is the file customers.csv. It is usually more efficient to have the larger input be the left input when relative sizes are known. Double click on each file so that they display in the center portion of Workbench. Click on the arrow next to the stopwatch. To begin this cosort job, select New Join Job. This brings us to the job specification file screen. Folder is the project folder and will be slash join. You can browse to the, to the desired project folder. The file name is the name for the job script. Type in the file name left outer join. Workbench will add the .scl. Click Next. This brings us to the data sources screen. We will need to add two data sources. The first data source will be the left input. Click Add Data Source. Make sure the file's radio button is selected. Browse to the file transactions.csv and double click. Click OK. I previously created metadata files for the inputs. Click Add Existing Metadata. This brings us to the Open Metadata screen. Make sure that the Join Project folder is selected. There is a drop-down menu that contains the names of the project folders. Under the Matching Items section, double-click on TransactionsCSV.ddf located in the metadata directory under the Join Project directory. Click Add Data Source again. Make sure the file's radio button is selected. Browse to the file customers.csv and double click. Click OK. Click Add Existing Metadata. This brings us to the Open Metadata screen again. Make sure that the Join Project folder is selected. Under the Matching Items section, double click on Customers CSV.ddf, also located in the Metadata directory under the Join Project directory. Notice in the tree that there is an alias for each of the inputs. Click Next. Now we are on the Join Sources screen. Under the Data Source 1, 
is the alias name transactions with the field names below. Under data source 2 is the alias name customers with the field names below. Select the left outer join radio button under join type. Under that, check the box for join only non-matches. We are going to match the records in the two data source files based on the field account num. The rules for the match are created by defining the join condition. Click on account num in the field list for each data source. Click on create condition. The join condition is then displayed. This is an equijoin. Notice that there is a not sorted checkbox below each data source. Each data source must be ordered by the fields used for the join condition. Transactions is not in order. Click on the checkbox Not Sorted so that transactions will be sorted before the records are matched. Click Next. This brings us to the Data Target screen. Click Add Data Target. Make sure the file radio button is selected. Type left outer join dot out for the output file name. Click OK. Select target field layout. Now we are at the target field layout screen. The top half of the screen contains the field definitions for the sources. There is a separate tab for each source. Initially, all of the input field definitions are in the output. To distinguish to which source a field belongs, the field name is prepended by the alias name followed by a period. Since we only want fields from the left, we will remove the fields from the right. Highlight the fields from customers. Select the first field, shift, select the last field, right click then select remove now the output only has definitions for fields from the file transactions click OK click finish this concludes the steps necessary for defining this left outer join job with the only parameter selected the center portion of workbench now contains the job script file left outer join dot scl it has all the commands in the SortCL language that were generated by the process we just completed. This text file can be edited using Workbench or a text editor of your choice. Now we can run the job script. Click on the green arrow in the toolbar. The output file is placed in the project. Alternately, the job script can be run in a batch script or from the command line. By double clicking on the output file, we can display it in the center section of Workbench. There we can see that there was only one record from the left input that did not have a match in the right input. This concludes this demo where we did a left outer join using two CSV files and applying the only parameter. A match was done based on one field common to the two inputs. The output contains only records from the left that did not have a match in the right input. Thank you for watching Big Data Transformation, where we performed a left outer join that also removed matched records. For more information, you can visit us on the web at www.iri.com.